hello students uh, welcome to the next uh, concept of the ir spectra okay changes in the spectra okay so change in spectra upon coordination uh, of donor molecules okay of donor molecules so nn dimethyl acetamide nn di methyl acetamide so this is what he has given okay nn dimethyl acetamide okay if you see uh, in the solvent okay so this compound so that is nothing but your uh, uh, this is what ch3 c double bond o n ch3 ch3 so like this you can see here like this like this is a compound if you see one more resonance here so we can see that this here goes this here it goes and you can see here so you will get the structure c o minus okay bond n plus ch3 ch3 so these are the two resonance structure of the nn dimethyl acetamide in the i will see the solvent in ccl4 carbon tetrachloride okay so it has an absorption band at 1662 per centimeter due to highly coupled carbonyl absorption so it is showing this in this uh, this compound is showing at this uh, absorption due to highly coupled uh, uh, carbonyl okay uh, carbonyl uh, absorption here and uh, the lower uh, the low frequency compared to acetone so acetone if you see the frequency we, we know is 17715 per centimeter 1715 per centimeter for the acetone but we can see here the lower frequency is got for this compound in ccl4 okay so the <clears throat> this is attributed uh, for the resonance interaction uh, with the lone pair of uh, nitrogen okay so uh, the lone pair of here nitrogen as a certain so interaction this is what attributed the lower resonance uh, is attributed for uh, uh, for the uh, interaction with the lone pair of uh, the nitrogen okay so upon if you see the complexation with uh, several uh, Lewis acids okay uh, the decrease in frequency of this band is uh, uh, observed so this is what uh, very important con uh, thing of this uh, nn dimethyl acetamide and you can see uh, the decrease uh, has been attributed uh, the, to the uh, to effect of the oxygen coordination so this is what the decrease in quad uh, ir also shows that it's due to the oxygen coordination so this also is uh, one reason okay and uh, <clears throat> uh, to the acid you know oxygen coordination could have and have the several effect upon the vibrations so what uh, are maybe the effect here so we can learn one by one uh, now we can see that oxygen atom has uh, to move against the atom Okay, to which uh, it is coordinated so the increase in frequency should result actually okay so so matter like this so there should be increase in the frequency uh, but uh, in effect with uh, uh, this is uh, to say that uh, for a system of uh, this kind x oxygen carbonyl like this okay the co and xo vibrations the co and halide oxygen vibrations couple okay here in such type of uh, examples here so the co and this vibrations uh, they couple okay and producing a higher energy carbonyl absorption and as a result a high energy carbonyl high energy carbonyl frequency okay absorption uh, energy carbonyl absorption is, uh, is observed now if you go for the point number two here uh, there is a change in oxygen hybridization uh, also uh, could increase the uh, carbon oxygen sigma overlap carbon oxygen sigma overlap okay and increase the force constant and also has a chance to increase the force constant okay uh, of uh, carbon oxygen bond this also the maybe the second reason the change in the oxygen hybridization and uh, the increase in the CO sigma overlap and increase in the force constant of the CO. Now, if you see that point number three here, if you want to discuss, so here the most important effect uh, is the case uh, involving decreasing in the carbonyl force constant here, okay? Decrease in the carbonyl force constant, okay? Uh, why is because maybe the draining of uh, pi electron density, okay? 
pi electron density draining means it's the losing of the pi electron density out of the carbonyl group okay so this causes the observed decrease in the carbonyl frequency so such type of draining of pi electrons out of this carbonyl group causes the decrease in the frequency so this is what hmm, decrease in the carbonyl frequency and this indicates that uh, oxygen coordination this in indicate the oxygen coordination and the absence of uh, any absorption in the carbonyl region uh, on the high frequency side of the uncomplexed carbonyl band is further support for the oxygen coordination also okay this also you have to keep in the mind okay the absence uh, of any of the absorption in the uh, in the carbonyl uh, indicates in the carbonyl okay if there is any absence of any absorption you are going to see uh, in the carbonyl region uh, on the high frequency if you uh, do it uh, of the uncomplexed carbonyl band okay so it, this is uh, the further support of the why this is, uh, is coordinated with the oxygen so this is also you can take into the consideration here and if you see that uh, uh, if there was uh, nitrogen coordination in the complexes if there was like because nitrogen also is there in acetamide so if there was nitrogen coordination here okay yeah, in uh, complexes the nitrogen lone pair would be involved so nitrogen in acetamide where they would be involved now okay for decoordination so what will happen now resulting the decrease in carbon nitrogen bond so this will result in decrease in the carbon cn bond here okay cn vibrational uh, uh, frequency will be decreased here and the higher energy uh, and there will be the higher energy of the frequency carbonyl frequency okay the decrease in the carbonyl stretching frequency of uh, if you see that in urea okay so you can see the decrease in the stretching frequency of carbonyl in urea upon complexation with uh, if you take a phi plus 2 okay chromium plus 3 then zinc plus 2 or copper plus 2 so this can be interpreted that the oxygen coordination so here also such type of decrease here will indicate that there may be the oxygen coordination uh, in these complexes okay so this uh, is similar so this can be explained uh, like uh, uh, in most of the amide cases we are seeing okay so same type of bonding nature we can uh, we can explain here also okay so even this study is been uh, is been studied by the x-ray diffraction also so x-ray diffraction also uh, has uh, the same uh, opinion as per this uh, ir frequency spec change in the spectra upon coordination with this uh, donor atom like nn di acetamide okay dimethyl acetamide and uh, in some of the cannot one in the oxygen coordinated so even some of the if you see that uh, complexes which is also coordinated with nitrogen okay so uh, some complexes uh, like palladium okay palladium uh, nh2co nh2 twice el2 so this compound if you see i will write here once again palladium okay nh2co nh2 urea type okay twice cl so if you see this and even also platinum nh2co nh2 twice cl if you see these two complexes and uh, this uh, shows uh, they are binding with the nitrogen here so not with this oxygen they, it is binding with the nitrogen in such complexes here okay and uh, the spectra uh, expected uh, uh, there is an increase in co stretching here in this way there is increase in the co stretching here uh, and a decrease in cn frequency so cn frequency will be decreasing here so this is what you can see that uh, like this the change in the uh, spectra uh, whenever the donor molecule is been added so we can see that so we have such changes okay so like this uh, even uh, uh, other complexes if you see uh, like uh, yeah, if there is a phosphonyl uh, uh, stretching uh, like uh, okay, uh, like a decrease in phosphorus oxygen stretching frequency okay in the uh, so if there is decrease in this structure uh, stretching frequency so uh, this also indicate that oxygen coordination are observed when uh, whenever we use triphenyl phosphine oxides okay so pph3 triphenyl phosphine oxides whenever you use this so we can see that decrease in the po stretching and that shows that there is coordination with the oxygen so like this uh, most of the donor atoms play important role here uh, and also we can see uh, like in this complex like uh, oxygen p n ch3 twice okay if you see this uh, complex okay phosphorus oxygen bond okay uh, there's a methyl and a hexamethylene 
phosphoramide so this is nothing but hexamethylene phosphoramide okay phosphoramide this compound so they are coordinated uh, uh, metal ions uh, okay for the from the nitrogen point of view uh, and this is what uh, you can see that uh, uh, the role of uh, the ir spectra upon binding of this uh, donor atoms uh, with the help of the ir uh, we uh, we can uh, help even uh, same way, even, uh, even you can see in decrease in the sulfur oxygen stretching uh, frequency, okay, uh, frequency decrease in the sulfur oxygen frequency, uh, indicative that the oxygen coordination again here is from the indicative on the oxygen coordination. So, when uh, we can see some compounds like uh, dimethyl sulfoxide, DMSO or tetramethylene sulfoxide is complex to many of the metal ions as we have done uh, in the laboratory one of the complex we are going to do you know, by with dmso so we will see whenever you go for the ir so you can see that uh, the bonding with the uh, coordinated with the oxygen and not with the sulfur and uh, that uh, that is because of the uh, knowing the sulfur oxide stretching frequency which is uh, in a decreased form so you are going to get in a decreased form okay so this is how uh, you can see and uh, uh, the stretching frequency but however the if you see that uh, so sulfur oxygen stretching frequency increases in uh, palladium complexes okay of uh, uh, palladium complex of dma so dimethyl sulfur this is how see so here is stretching frequency we are finding in palladium oxide uh, it is increased uh, comparing to uh, free sulfoxides okay so this indicate of the sulfur coordination so in this palladium complex indicate that the sulfur is going to coordinate with the palladium okay so this is how uh, it is based and even if you see the nitrogen oxygen stretching frequency of pyridine oxide as we have left in pyridine complex so here also i will deal it here so nitrogen oxygen uh, stretching frequency of pyridine n oxide okay pyridine n oxide as i have told you so this is what pyridine n oxide okay so so this uh, when you see uh, it is decreased uh, the no stretching is decreased here so this stretching is decreased here okay upon uh, decrease upon complexation so this uh, uh, this is how it shows that uh, the it is uh, it is uh, it is been coordinated with the oxygen here most of the cases even uh, the ir spectra of uh, ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid if you see uh, so this also indicate that uh, the ligands behave as tetradented pentadented hexadented ligand of tdta so as a, a donor atom so this is also interpreted based on the ir frequencies absorption bands in the carbonyl regions uh, corresponding to the free and the complex carbonyl uh, groups here so this is how and in some cases uh, uh, you can see that uh, c triple bond n so this nitrile group stretching frequency of some of the substituted benzonitriles if you see substituted benzonitriles okay if you see such compounds of c triple bond n uh, the increase uh, the increase upon coordination to the Lewis uh, acid stannic chloride so if you see that essential to when they uh, are coordinated uh, with uh, this uh, this ligand donor atom so you can see that uh, the stretching frequency uh, of increases here and it is also proposed that uh, a little drain of electron density from uh, C triple bond n okay uh, is, uh, is is seen here and uh, uh, and consequently the little decrease in this uh, force constant so the coupling effect uh, uh, is uh, important and the vibration frequency uh, will have will be seen to be increased here so like this uh, you can see that uh, most of the donor atoms uh, so is uh, going to affect the change in the spectra of uh, the complexes uh, so which can be detected by the help of the ir spectroscopy so like this in today's video we have learned regarding the nn dimethyl acetamide this resonance structure and its uh, uh, change in the frequency the free frequency of the carbonyl and how it changes upon binding and how it binds to the oxygen and not with the nitrogen and how it has been uh, is been de determined by the ir spectroscopy by looking at the decrease in the frequency here and increase in the frequency here and even some of the complexes we have seen that uh, the uh, the coordination will be with the help of the nitrogen also in some complexes like palladium and platinum here so like this in this video we have learned uh, maximum uh, concepts of the donor molecules and uh, the changes in the spectra uh, upon its coordination okay? in the next video so we'll go for the another concept of this uh, and hydrogen bonding is some uh, effect is there so uh, we'll see in the next video thank you